Good morning. I'm here today to install a Rio Grande. The first process is to carry out a site survey. Once that's all been agreed by the customer, we then arrange for the crane and delivery. In the meantime, you need to do preparation. For example, this Rio Grande is halfway in the ground. Therefore, you need to make a concrete base, a retaining wall in preparation for the spar. This is the pit for the Rio Grande. The time for this is about a week's work. You have to excavate the ground, which is one and a half days. 150 mm gap around the perimeter of the spar for ventilation. The important part of this installation is the concrete must be 150 millimetres thick with reinforced concrete and the surrounding block work must be dense concrete blocks. This prevents any moisture getting into the hole and also retains the ground. What we're doing, we're simulating the Rio Grande and we've made a frame the size of the spa. The rear grand has now arrived on the crane. He's going to unload it and position it here on the ground. The excavator will get one end of the rear grandy and lift it, and we'd have two pallet trucks this end and wheel it down through the garage. Very important thing, very, very important, is make sure you've got the correct orientation of the swim spa, because when it goes down and into the hole, you're not going to be able to turn it. So, Make sure it comes off the truck in the right orientation. Another important feature here is this is your opportunity to take the swim spa off from the pallet. Otherwise, if you don't, it can't get the pallet off. So if you see here, we put the straps between the pallet and the spar. So when we lift the spar off, the pallet stays behind. As you can see here, we're taking the end panel off. That will expose the frame of the swim spar so we can pick it up with the excavator. Now we've taken the cover away from the spar, we use this sling which will connect to the excavator and lift the swim spar and pull it down here. Always note, be careful not to put the sling around the cables. What we're doing here, we're removing the end panel so we don't get any damage to it when we're manoeuvring it around the house. We've got the Rio Grande ready to go into the pit. Well, I've got scaffold boards and rollers which will help it guide it down and I'll move the excavator along, put it down slowly and then gently lower it into the pit and then happy days. When you're installing this Rio Grande, two things will be careful. The one is your fingers when you're moving the rollers because you don't want to hurt yourself and two, look after the customer's property. For example, you don't want to damage the grass. Now you see the swim spa in position. The next job is to clean it, put the hose pipe in it, start filling with water, and an electrician will turn up later today and connect all the electricity for us. And now it's time to fill it with water. To do that, remove the skimmer cover and the skimmer, and put a hose pipe in the skimmer. The reason we do this is it stops air in the pipe, so it purges all the air out of the pipes when the water's filling it up. Remove the side panel on the uh, swim spa to show the W flow pumps, there's three of them there, and also the gecko control pack, which is here. This is the reason you need to have an access pit so you can access these pumps or electrics for maintenance and servicing. This is a submersible pump which will pump out any water that goes in the, uh, in the pit, either from rain or leakage from the swim spa. This is a pump and this is the external power supply for it. This pump has a float switch, so when the water gets 10, mm, 10 millimetres up here, it will pump water through this pipe up into a drain. Two power supplies for the Rio Grande, two 40 amp cables, one for the swim spa, and the other one for the hot tub.
This pump here is a circulation pump for the swim spa. Because it's above the bottom of the spa, very often it has an airlock, so you have to release one of these pipes to release the air before it starts working. So basically you're priming the pump. It's a good idea to do that before you put the cover back on. Otherwise, when you turn it on, it won't do anything. This swim spa, the hot tub ends, has got the in-clear system in it, which is a self-cleaning bromine. Firstly, as you can see, it's in lumps. So you don't put it in a tub as it is, put it in warm water, dilute it, and then put it into the spa. Otherwise, it takes a long time to dilute and break down. To summarise it now, swim spa has arrived, we put it in position, the electrician connected it all up, we've tested all the pumps and the lights, and everything's good. So now it's ready to hand it over to the customer and explain how it all works. Step one, carry out site survey. Step two, arrange the transport and the crane. Step three, prepare the base and the electricity supply. Step four, unload the truck from Wellis. Step five, load the spa onto your own transport and deliver to site. Step six, lift it into position with the crane or whatever is required. Step seven, test and commission the spa.